Welcome everybody. This is my uh, very first StarCraft cast, so I hope you bear with me. I hope you enjoy the game. We got a 4v4. We'll go on the opponent first. We have Hyponotoid, who's playing red. Don't tell me how to live my life, he says, and this guy is a master player. Our next master player is Zeros. He is the purple uh, Protoss. The purple Protoss. So we have two masters in this game. We are going to get destroyed. Creed is our blue Protoss. And our light blue Terran is Brandon. On the heroes team, we've got... I'm just going to call their real names because I can't say that one. This is Greg, who's our pink Protoss. We got Cameron, who is... Uh, Orange Terran, part of a rate. We've got Merlin, who is yellow Terran, and Dallin being the green Terran today. So, not pause. Let's go to our production tab. We can see uh, Merlin, Cameron, and Dallin are all doing the exact same build, which is basically a uh, racks into gas and then expanding afterwards. We look at our master Terran. He's not. No, he's doing a gasless, gasless expansion. So interesting to see how he's going to turn that out. Uh, Protoss is just doing the gate cyber core. Same thing over here. So nothing really fun happening in the first. We can increase the speed a little bit. I think they said Dallin and Cameron were going for... Whittle Mines, Greg is just going to be doing Stalkers. Merlin's going to be doing uh, Marauders. So, yeah, be interested to see how this plays out. The only one who's expanded so far has been Red, Yellow, and Cameron down here. No expansions yet from our Blue or Purple Protoss. And nothing from Greg yet. So, he's scouted, and Zeros has a proxy pylon, which was discovered by Greg and killed off by Merlin. And, ooh, we lost the probe, too, as well. So, no shenanigans coming from them. Light blue's expanding. We got Dallin doing double armory. Merlin doing double eBay. Cameron doing double factory, and Greg has double nothing. Oh, researching charge on those zealots. The three gateways. And blue here, Creed doing a kind of more of an aggressive expansion. You look how close these bases are together. They Oh, let's slow down the game here. First attack's coming in. This is our master player. Hopefully, uh, Dallin gets this widow mine down. Good job. Should be enough here to defend against it. Greg got some stalkers and marauders and see what happens. We're gonna lose stem though. Oh, that's hard for Merlin there. Losing that stem. It looks like they're repelling it back off. Nice uh force field from Zeros. Try to prevent us from chasing them down. PF here, aggressive expansion. Actually, I guess this is the only expansion Dallin can take, unless he wants to come down here. There are rocks on either side, so these back expansions are not that well protected once they go through the rocks. Greg has got Storm. Was he researching Storm? Where does Storm come from? Yes, he's researching Storm with a forward pylon. Nice to see. Let's speed the game back up again. Looks like Dallin has his fourth expansion and a factory. No starports yet. Oh, wait, we do have an attack coming in. Looks like uh, Zeros put some uh, force fields down to uh, prevent the repair. Which is real huge on that. We didn't get up in time enough to stop it, and uh, Marauders were going bye bye. Brandon coming in with some Marines to help clean that up. Dallin's putting down some Widow Mines. And his workers are trapped over here. Greg's morphing in, hopefully coming over to help. It looks like uh, our opponents are going into... 
Oh, beautiful shot from Dallin. Took him away all the way down to uh, 15. 15 health. We got our master Terran coming out here. Another nice shot from Dallin. Oh! And there's the storm, so Greg. So, bye bye, baby. They really didn't attack at the same time, which kind of spread them thin, and they were susceptible to that. These Marauders, Stim is done on them, and oh, there they go, picking off. Come on, get buried, get buried. So, one thing to note is this expansion over here is his second. He did not choose to expand to a safer location. And uh, Protoss, Protoss is expanding pretty close too. I'm sorry, you guys have to listen to my voice for 15 minutes, but hey, whatever. Um, <laughs> Greg coming in, taking this out. Well, not quite yet, but... There should be enough, hopefully, to take it out. Looks like Dallin is flying up, but he's gonna... He's kind of a floating overlord right now, a Terran overlord coming in to, to land, but... Blue's not gonna have that. Cameron's building his third over here. Greg's got his natural, his second over here. And Dallin with the cheeky play. Well, however you say that. Let's go into units. So for units, uh, right now the lead is uh, our master uh, Terran at 49 workers. 30, 35, 35, 49 for uh, Cameron as well. So good job, Cameron. Greg at 30, and Merlin's at a pitiful 25. So even though he get a, got an expansion early, but it's okay because he's killing Nexuses. It's amazing how fast those fall the Marauders and Stim. So, denying expansions. Dallin with his Terran Overlord has spotted this one. And look at those cannons. This guy doesn't want this to go down. So here comes the Master Zerg with his... Uh... With his uh, Marines. Not a whole lot happening. So after losing that expansion, Purple's gone down to this uh, 3 o'clock expansion. Oh, and here goes a big push out by Merlin and Cameron. These guys over here, do they see it at all? Yeah, they see it. Oh, no, nope, they're leaving. We see jump, and this should do a lot of damage. There is a huge do uh, doom drop coming in. I wonder <laughs> who's going to get that one. Is he going to land here with that PF? No, he's going to continue on. I uh, think Merlin's going to get pretty much cremated here. We'll see how he handles it. Let's go to his uh, view. Our SCVs oh, he's just up there. Attack. He's not even looking at it. Oh, Our oh, as you attacked. see, the SCVs are dropping are quickly. Our Did we get the... At least we get the attacked. Nexus. At least we get the Nexus. But yeah, Merlin loses his main. They didn't take off this one, though. So armor's going to finish up. Greg comes over to assist in the little widow mine. Oh, and there goes Merlin's natural. So he's being gutted right now. Nothing really to answer for this. 11 Marauders is not going to take this out. Still a big battle up here. Greg taking on these. Coming down. Oh, Cameron with the tanks. That at least will keep them away. Got some Vikings. Ooh, nice widow mine by Dallin there. A lot of action going on now. See if they can clean up these uh, these Marines. Looks like Cameron's gonna have some visitors from our uh, Purple Protoss. Here he comes back, Widow Mines and Tanks Galore. Still alive, Mr. Master Red, Red Terran. Not very smart for him attacking this PF. He probably, nah, he's gonna lose his guys. See if Merlin can stabilize. He only has these little bit left. Will he? Oh, there comes the hero marine with the repair. So, Greg and uh, 
Cameron cleaning that up quite well. Dallin taking some hits though. See if this widow mine can do its job. Taking out two Marines. There goes some more from the tank shot, so he's gone. Get out of here, you piece of HUD. Greg's got a massive army. We go to our army count here, active forces. Greg's sitting at 2450. Light blue is actually in, up in second. What does he have? Oh, we got battle cruisers. I don't know if we know about the battle cruisers yet. And look at red. Oh boy. Looking at upgrades, purple, even though he's a master, has no upgrades. Merlin's a 2-2. Two, two. What's Greg at? Where's your army, Greg? Oh, you're taking out the rocks. Greg's at 1-1-0. One, one, so we could definitely use a little bit of upgrades. But Greg hasn't played for like, what, six months to a year? So we'll give him a little bit of credit on that. Here come the Vikings that are 0-0. Zero, zero, so no upgrades on the battle cruisers. But look at this. Boom, and the storms come down. Goodbye expansion. So... This winning team is doing an excellent job, or the team that's in the lead, I should say, of denying expansions. You look at the... Oh, there's a nuke. That's not our nuke. Let's go to units. And let's go to the ghost. Right there. So Cameron gets out of the way. Hopefully he doesn't take too much damage. Good job dodging that nuke. It looks like we're ready to push in. Cameron leading the charge. That is a lot of widow mines. <laughs> so there are there are immortals, but the immortals are not upgraded. Cameron is two two. Immortals are usually better than tanks, so we'll have to see what uh fourteen tanks do against six more seven marauder immortals. Here we go. He sieges up, and that's all she wrote. Goodbye. Widow mines coming in to be the meat shield. Yeah, that's not good. So Purple, this is his only base now. He's getting stormed by Greg. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, it's too funny though. Let's see what the Moodle Mines do to these uh, PCs. Uh, goodbye. That's all she wrote on that. So interesting that the... Interesting the Purple, uh, the Red uh, Terran has not chosen to engage yet. Let's see if Cameron sees this nuke. This might be the end of his army. Let's see if they, they haven't moved yet. There's that ghost. What a great position. Even if Cameron scanned right now, he wouldn't see the nuke. Oh, and those tanks. They're gone. Still a huge force in the middle, though. Another nuke. What's going to happen on this one? Scan, Cameron. Scan. He sees it this time, and he gets out of there. I don't think these tanks will make it, though. Goodbye, boys. You fought well. Battle cruisers at 222 have not chosen to go in yet. As they're late siege, and our first exit of the game has been the master purple Protoss, Zeros, who basically has nothing. So here comes those widow mines, and oh, that hurts. That's painful to watch. The BCs from Red have finally decided to warp in, and 22 CPCs are no joke, laying waste to Cameron's main. How are they gonna stop these? I don't know. I think Merlin was gonna make some uh, Vikings two at a time, but that's not gonna be able to stop this. Oh, I think we have our answer right here. The hero charge of the mines. How proud this is. Maybe we should put some uh, Flight of the Valkyrie music in here or something. Yeah. BC's laying waste. Looks like there's some action going on up here. Greg came in and started taking down yellow. Yellow, that's light blue. What's my problem? Anyway, let's look at the worker count. Ooh. Oh, massive, massive hit by Cameron on those BCs. Sorry I missed that if I did. Maybe we should go back a little bit. Oh, well. Greg coming in with some void rays. Void rays at 0-0 zero, zero. will do nothing. They're 3-3 three, three battlecruisers now. No, these are no joke. So a lot of them are low. If only we could have some Vikings. Oh, look, three hero Vikings. Let's follow them for a bit. Hopefully they can get some kills. Right here, if we can target fire. Let's see if Merlin's able to get a couple of 
kills on these guys. There goes one. <laughs> zero, zero Vikings taking on three, three battle cruisers. This is entertainment, guys. Two go down, and then the rest will just get blown to pieces, yeah. Greg going back in with his zealots. Come on, Greg. One, one, one at 17 minutes of the game. Ah, Cameron's already at 3-3. Cameron's upgrades look awesome. Zealots going in. Ripping apart. There goes, uh, Dallin lost his, uh, Terran Overlord. But hey, look at these expansions. Space <laughs> across to their side of the map. This is great. The question is, is there any response to these 3-3 three, three battle cruisers? He's running away from the Widow Mines, which is smart. Taking down the tanks. Oh, so bad. Goodbye, tanks. So many tank drivers have died this turn. Cameron's still sporting 45 workers. Dallin's at 45. Merlin's rebuilt to 23. Oh, that was the blue king in. He didn't like being here. Oh, well, he's got quite an army as well. Cameron's coming back up with more widow mines. Not over yet, guys. They might be lower on things. Oh, Void Rays came in. Chased away, though, by the, the battle cruisers. There's still just one on the shield. Dallin loses his PF. Can they get it? Can they get it? And. You saw it there, folks. Turrets taking down battle cruisers. Pretty awesome. For some reason, Blue's rebuilding here. I guess he's just to stay alive and stay in the game. But let's see what. Oh! Big warping right under Merlin's base. He had a couple turrets from Darren, but nothing else. Now they're laying waste to the Vikings. Oh, this is painful. I'm serious. We lose the battle cruisers. I'm going to cry myself to sleep. He's even dancing them around, taking out the reactor. No more back. Oh, this building's not even done yet. Oh, there is no answer for this right now. 14 battle cruisers. So, here come the void rays, but they're not upgraded. So, actually, it's, he's scaring them away. He could totally waste them. Oh, I think he realizes it now. Goodbye, void rays. So. Still laying waste to red. I wouldn't call it a base race because he could just warp backwards. Let's speed it up a little bit. Goodbye, buildings. Merlin's building a lot more turrets this time. He warped right here, so I guess the thought process is hopefully he warps there again. I guess, uh,. We're just pointing out how fun this is. So for mining bases, we got this base. Look at this gold base. I don't don't know if yeah. We don't see this base at all. We don't know that they have that base. So they still got mining going on. Greg's mains being gutted. Oh. What can men do against such hate? Build turrets! <laughs> Got about 15 turrets going up. So, I think the only saving grace of this game is if he can warp right here on the turrets. Merlin's got some uh, three star ports. And look, he's patterning them all right here. So, the trap is set that hopefully this guy will warp. If not, I don't know if this game can be won. Those battle cruisers, 3 3 battle cruisers, are no joke. You look at the income tab. Actually, Merlin's on. Oh, no, Greg's on top of the income. Two mining bases right here. So, actually, Red's not mining anymore. So, Merlin's pinging all the mining bases. Dallin's doing a good job of expanding aggressively. <laughs> Up their side of the map. Here come the SCVs. Oh, we got another mining base now. Let's watch this uh, income tab go to craziness. So, he's back in the game now. 800. Yeah, so... We got to find that base, but you look at five. We don't know that base is there. We barely know that base is there. We're just trying to freaking recover after that. After that warping. Oh, let's hope they warp. Let's hope they warp. You know we wouldn't be showing you this game and they didn't warp. 
We're gonna keep our eyes on this for a second until they warp. There we go. And they baited the trap with all these missile turrets. And <laughs> Goodbye, BCs. And Cameron's joining in the fun. Yeah. <laughs> and you warp in. You can't warp out. Sorry, buddy. Oh, and down here, too. He has nowhere to go. He's not going to get cremated. So I think there's about three more minutes left in this game. We'll watch till the end. Yeah, he's got bases up, but there's the GG by our master pro, uh, Red Terran. Beautiful. Merlin's flying his things up. Where is he going with those? Oh, GG's around the border. I think it's just light blue left. Well, you know what? Landed Vikings. There are only two healing, but Greg's in there with his Void Rays. There are three more BCs. Nice little sacrifice that that guy made for the void. Oh, look at the Thors, and he's dropping the mules to protect them. I know I couldn't get everyone's cool experiments here, so I apologize, but... Oh, Cameron shifts them over to the single shot, which does 250... Well, actually, just 250 millimeter. What damage does it do? 39 and 55. So 55 shots. He's doing like 150... Oh, yeah. Goodbye. We are set. Nothing then left to do and that's the game guys you prevent expansions you counter their enemies you lay a perfect trap that he warps onto and doesn't kill <laughs> basically any turrets and uh yeah two masters down the drain by a whole bunch of salty golds so anyway hope you guys enjoyed this cast hope it wasn't too long and i'll catch you next time total uh copyright from husky